that's how they say it. Um, Today is uh, June 27th, 2017. Here in uh, near downtown Cormier here on main bus stop square. And we're gonna do a run out on the UTMB course, hopefully, if it doesn't storm on me too much up high. Um, but yeah, looking forward to heading out there. Mountains are a little cloudy today, but we'll see how far we could go. are still pretty tired from that marathon <laughs> I got a full pack on to the equipment but uh yeah it's a nice climb out of Cormier it's a tough one uh, and I only made it during the race I sure remember running part of the street there amazingly because I had just gotten stitches and drinking antibiotic juice and it was all amped up uh, <laughs> then I started hiking this but uh, yeah my knee was totally kaput it was okay on the uphill, but I made it up to the refuge up here, Bertone. That's where I got a helicopter ride and dropped out of the race, unfortunately, because I couldn't go downhill anymore. But I remember power hiking up this in the middle of the night. I don't know, it was like three or four in the morning. Uh, and yeah, I really wanted to finish. I didn't get to. So hopefully this year, I get to go the full distance and definitely want to be competitive. I'm a very competitive person. Uh, I respect the distance though, and I respect the competition, and it's a really tall order to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna compete for the win against this stacked field, especially with guys that have won here before, because uh, it's, it's a brutal course. It's a tough challenge, but I guess the ultimate goal is to always try to scrape up to what your human potential is to what your full maximum capacity is. And a lot of us, I don't think, know that, and maybe we never reach it, but the goal is to try to attain our potential, whatever that may be, to train hard and smart so that we could do that. That being said, I like longevity in the sport. I like trying to be healthy too, and have a balanced approach, and have fun, and meet cool people in cool places. But, yeah, I'm gonna push the envelope on this training block and it may backfire. Hopefully I won't fall again. Hopefully I could go the distance. Hopefully I won't, I could have a competitive race and run uh, place as well as possible up to my potential. It's really all you could ask for. If you wanna talk about, I had a rough race at the marathon a couple days ago. I don't wanna make a bunch of excuses have this come off as a bunch of excuses but uh looking at my training on Strava it's too dialed for Mount Washington which is a very competitive race something I'm passionate about but road running up 12% average grade isn't the same as doing these technical trails up steeper grades and a seven and a half mile race is not the same as a, a marathon and I didn't do enough long trail runs yet to have the strength. Yeah, as I was saying, I didn't have the strength. I really bonked in the last 10K. It was a sheer muscle failure. Not that I had a bad nutrition plan or 
that I was dehydrated. I wasn't, or that I, you know, the pace was aggressive. You're running against guys like Killian and I think it was uh, Stain, mispronouncing his name, won Zagama in course record time this year. And Max King and uh, Mark uh, Laustein. Those guys are really good. And uh, we went out quick. Andy Wacker also took it out quick on us. Like 5.30 first mile, and it's flat and runnable pretty much the first 10 miles. And I love the middle climb. I was right up there in the lead pack where I wanted to be, top four. Then we hit this technical downhill, and it was all foggy, and it had been raining, and I was, it was pretty technical and slippery and steep, and I got dropped instantly. Granted, legs weren't feeling real great anyway. Cramps were gonna come on. I didn't have the specific variable running economy for high intensity mountain racing in Europe yet. So I gotta work on that. <laughs> you know, I'm used to treadmill uphills and Mount Washington uphills, some Colorado trails, but it's not the same. Racing in Europe's a different ball game. It's usually more competitive. So you got stacked fields. The trails are generally more steep. They're generally more technical, even though a lot of Europeans will be like, oh, it's not a technical race. It wasn't insanely technical, but I thought there's some sections surprised me and I need to work on that, especially downhills. So that's where I really got dropped and then bonked and hit the wall. That's just a fitness issue though. I only did one 20 mile plus long run in training in the last two weeks. Granted, I did some 100 mile weeks with 20,000 feet of vert, but gotta be honest with myself, kick myself in the butt to be serious at UTMB. Gotta get that volume up to 140, 150 miles a week and do over 30,000 feet of vertical in a week, the race is over 30,000 feet. So big volume, big long runs, do 30, 40 mile long runs in training, uh, back off on the intensity. This is all about surviving and persevering, trying to go the distance, so. That's my take, again, Mount Block Marathon, rude awakening, I'll take it with a grain of salt. I mean, it was my third competitive race in three weeks straight, trying any service, any distance. Should have been better at the marathon, than at like 10K, but again, specific demands require specific strengths. And in that competitive field, you could not have an off day or you're not gonna make the podium. So those guys ran really well, ran really fast. It's always impressive to see and humbling and it just motivates me and burns the fire for more. Cause I know it wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted to race at. It wasn't the level and you know, I know I could run better. I don't know how much better, but Again, it's all about trying to maximize your potential and your ability. And since I have the opportunity, thanks to the sponsors like Hoka and all you guys supporting me on YouTube and Patreon, uh, you know, I could really put in a good effort and train really hard and optimize things. And that's exactly what I want to do uh, to try to maximize my potential. And it's a risk. It's a risk for injury. It's a risk for overtraining. It's a risk for having a bad race, not doing things too stupidly, but you know, you want the big rewards, you gotta take big risks sometimes. And uh, that's why I do this, but love the trails out here. Let's get some footage up top, up to Bertone. towards uh, Berton, almost there. That's where the helicopter got me. Yep, that's where the helicopter landed, I think. Look at a mountain goat. He mountain goat. So this is where I made it to in 2015 before hobbling back down to Bertone. It's pretty pathetic, but uh, yeah, uncharted territory for me now. Let's see what this has in store.
some sort of hut. Here we go. Look at that view. <laughs> That's great. There's the glossier. A lot of glossiers. All right, so I'm gonna plug three sponsors now. Spring Energy, uh, use code SAGE for 10% off your discount. Then we got Trail Butter, eating a lot of this. Really good for these long excursions. And last but not least, Yugo Bars. Uh, there's a new flavor, Sage. Uh, it's very savory and delicious. So, big sponsor plugs. But yeah, nice view up here. Uh, a lot of people hiking out today. Clouds are coming in. Just make sure there's not lightning and thunder and torrential downpour in the cold. So we'll see how high up we could get. Love this trail. It's nice and pretty smooth and runnable. Well, I don't know how runnable, runnable it'll be at mile 65, but hopefully. And look at these views. Even with the clouds, even on a cloudy day, that's awesome. Love it up here. Ten miles out, making a twenty-mile day, thousands of feet of climbing. Uh, legs are definitely tired from the marathon. So really, do have to get serious about ramping up the long runs in the vertical, though. Uh, I slacked on it before Mount Washington. I tapered too much. I shouldn't have raced three weeks in a row, especially short distance mountain running. But hey, we'll take that intensity of the climbing and extend it now. And that's what you have to do to survive. Uh, I think out here, really like the trails out here. Love training. Broke a propeller on my drone, may have caused more damage on that landing. Uh, I caught it, but then it slipped out of my hand and fell kind of onto the rocks. Uh, so we'll have to check the damage report. Hopefully, got some good shots, but uh, well, you've probably seen the shots now. But uh, yeah, I think this is a good turning point. I'd love to come back out here and explore again, maybe before the race, because uh, I haven't covered anything really in Switzerland on the, the course. And just training in these big mountains is breathtaking, literally and figuratively. Uh, but also good specific training for the legs. You got to have that strength. You got to have that core strength. Got to have that leg strength to withstand all the pounding, uh, as well as dialing down nutrition and long-range hydration, things like that. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate all the support on Patreon. Couldn't do this without all the Patreon supporters, as well as all you guys just watching on here. Follow me on social media at SageKende at, at on Instagram and Twitter. I also have SageKende fan page, or I believe it's Sage fan page athlete page on Facebook uh, if you're curious again for the discount codes and Yugo bars enter code SAGE or SANDY um, either one I think would work for 10% off yugobars.com uh, as well as SAGE at myspringenergy.com for the, the gels and got some new exciting stuff working on thanks to the sponsors especially my title sponsor Hoka One One uh, gotta love the speed goat twos right <laughs> as well as uh, yeah I got the Dramax SAGE runner Dramax socks my Dramax sock uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more Sage Running Vlogs. Mm -hmm.